family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone. Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> and George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the bubble bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Peppa. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> no. <laughs> the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> ah! oh! oh, no! I'm all wet! <laughs> Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. <laughs> oh, 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 let's do the water slides. <laughs> here are the water slides. <laughs> There's a tiny slide for little children. <laughs> Big ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide. <laughs> That's very high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. Okay, we're watching. <laughs> Ready? Steady, go! <laughs> that looked fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Sorry, I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. <coughs> Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK, here goes. The big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant. Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? 
I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant. Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on. Like this. Wow. Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing! <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one! May I present Mount Everest! Ooh. Mount Everest is very high! Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh dear, George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun. I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr. Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home? But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. 
Yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! 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 <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Roller disco! Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going hard and hard. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap, <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What shall we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. <sighs> Hello, Emily. Let's 
this is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's stay together. OK! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Emily. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. <laughs> Hello again, Pepper. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> One potato, two potato, three potato, four Five potato, six potato, seven potato, We have to be quicker with our own music next time Yes, I've got it ready to play Five potato, six potato, seven potato, four Wow, Daddy's going backwards Five potato, six potato, seven potato, four How do you do that? I don't know Six potato, seven potato, more Quick, it's over Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favourite song! Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to the disco <laughs> town. <laughs> 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 Nothing deserves roller skates or flashing. Skate on Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Peppa and her friends are at the playground today. I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr Bull. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Hooray! <laughs> Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Oh, 
Everything is children size. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> This is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK, pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. Oh, I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. <laughs> It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there. It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't... No, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing! Yay! 
Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. Parachute. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have! It's a rainbow parachute! And we are going to play games with it! Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge! George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this! Wiggle, wiggle! Look at the way the parachute moves! It is like the sea! Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, the boat bobs, bobs up, up, the boat bobs, bobs, bobs down. down. The boat bobs up, up the, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. OK, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! One, two, three, and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, 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 pop! It is home time and the parents have
have come to collect the children. Wow! <laughs> You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. It's the best rainbow Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. Trampolines! Peppa and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Peppa and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I think I'll have a go. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bounce bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This 
is unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night. It's unbelievable. Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone. Happy <laughs> birthday, Goldie. <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. 
Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. Winter games. Today, Peppa and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. Well, I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. <laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, Mummy Pig skied down the mountain. <laughs> past the shops, all the way home. <laughs> and she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. OK. Let's go this way, then. <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Peppa and George are skiing down the gentle slope. <laughs> Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. Wibbly-wobbly-woo! <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono-ski. Hello! Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> wow! You're all skiing so well! Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> again, again. Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, stop! Hang on a moment! Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes. Good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! <laughs> what? Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. <laughs> Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah! all the way home. Mummy's going to hit the house again. Ah! I'm never going to stop. And on to the playground. Oh, oh. oh Mummy Pig. Mummy skied all the way here. Backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing. Here is the Winter Games Cup. Again. Oh, thank you. My mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves Winter Games. Everyone loves Winter Games. <laughs> Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. What is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow! 
That is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. Okay. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Peppa. What? Disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Yes, I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <laughs> <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, <gasps> all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes, all the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeak! <laughs> 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 I think it's working. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy. <laughs> Shake harder, Mummy. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. Uh, I'm trying my best. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa and George. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr Dinosaur. Oh. <sighs> What's that smell? Poo-poo! Uh. Mummy! <laughs> George's done poo-poo! Do you need the potty?
potty, George. Too late for the potty. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. <laughs> That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Peppa. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Peppa. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Peppa. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. Now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty. That's right. Potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George. <laughs> Quick, George, hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> wee wee. Mummy, Daddy, George wants his potty. Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Peppa, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, Call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, do you need the potty? Potty! 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 Hang on, George! We've got the potty! Here it is. Well done, George. You called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up. Like me! <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Charity shop. Pepper and George are helping Mummy and Daddy Pig tidy up. Ooh, there's so much stuff in here. Yes, I'm sure we don't need half of it. What do you mean? Well, do you really need this tuba? Yes, I do. And one day, I'll learn how to play it. I just have to find time to practice. Until then, it just sits around with all this other stuff gathering dust. Hmm. I say we take some of it to the charity shop. What is a charity shop? It's where you take things you don't need anymore. And it's all for a good cause. But it's so difficult to decide what to give away. It's easy. You just pick something up and ask yourself, does this bring me joy? If the answer is yes, we keep it. If the answer is no, it goes. OK. So, I ask myself, does this plant bring me joy? And the answer is yes, it does. So we keep it. Yes. <laughs> does this plastic vase bring me joy? No. So it can go to the charity shop. 
Now it's Daddy's turn. I will help you, Daddy. OK, Peppa. Does this bell bring you joy, Daddy? Yes, it does. What about this cup? That's my football cup. Yes, it brings me joy. Maybe I should help Daddy from now on, Peppa. What about this tatty old chair? I thought we'd given it away already. Pure joy. What about this book? Hard Problems in Logistics, Volume 3. Hmm, that's not a very joyful book. OK, then it can go. Uh... This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> what a great tidy up! Now, off to the charity shop. See you later! Bye! This is the charity shop. Here is Granny Wolf. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. We've got some things for your shop. Oh, thank you very much. Here is Grandpa Giraffe. I've made the tea. Did someone say tea? Here is Grandad Elephant. Tea? And Grandma Cow. Uh, and old Mrs Donkey. I've made more tea. There are a lot of old people helping in the charity shop. They like drinking tea. Wow! There are so many interesting things in here. Yes, our shop is full of stuff. What do you do with it? We sell it. And the money raised is all for a good cause. Daddy, can we buy something? Well, yes. After all, it's all for a good cause. The great thing about charity shops is that you never know what you're going to find. One week it might be jigsaw puzzles. It's my job to count all the jigsaw pieces to make sure none are missing. There's one, two, three. The next week four, we might get bagpipes. Bagpipes? I've always wanted to play the bagpipes. We'll take them. Daddy, can we buy this wooden bird? Why not? George has found a garden gnome. We'll take that too. The more we buy, the more it helps. And look, we have a complete 20-volume encyclopedia. Wow! What's that? These books tell you everything about the world in 1956. Amazing! Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have arrived home. Mummy, Mummy! We found lots of things at the charity shop. What? Yes! There was so much amazing stuff there. Look, a complete set of encyclopedia. And Daddy is going to learn the bagpipes. Oh, the room is just as full as it was before. Yes, all thanks to the charity shop. It's the best shop in the world. <laughs> Pepper loves the charity shop. Everyone loves the charity shop. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! Your 
going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> Oh, no! We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> Oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. <laughs> Wait for us. <laughs> now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um... Don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. Peppa <laughs> loves little cars. Everyone.